transiting on our way from Guam through the Marshall Islands and we're heading toward the Johnston Atoll area. We'll be doing uh, seafloor mapping using the Falcor's multi-beam sonar system. When I found out I got accepted as a student opportunities participant, I was really excited that uh, that's the only thing I could think of and talk about with my friends and family. It's very important that you try to start out with or think about where you want to start stashing things. The more organization that you impose from the very beginning, the better off you will end up being and less confused you'll be later on. I'm really looking forward to the hands-on experience. So we'll be uh, processing the data, we'll be collecting data, I'll be standing watch. I'm looking forward to participating in standing watches where we'll be helping with the mapping when we actually get to the atoll because I think that will help internalize a lot of the information. In the past few days, they've started at a, a very basic level with us. Okay, so move to the next file, number 137. Got it. And now move your box up to the end of the... Oh, good, we have some side loads there. Yeah, so sure. and I learned how, with Joyce, to process some of the data yesterday, and it's pretty complicated. She's really good at it. I'm good at killing dots, <laughs> taking out the, the outliers. One of the cool things about this ship is it has two of the largest uh, satellite antennas you've ever seen. So the ship has the ability for us to, in real time, have connections anywhere in the world. So to be able to communicate that science, to inspire a new generation, is something that's really interested me so far. What it's doing for me as an individual, as an educator, um, is stimulating my enthusiasm, my commitment, my energy to environmental issues specifically as they relate to the ocean. The ocean has been my life. Think of it this way, if, you, um, if you're going on a vacation somewhere, what's the first thing you do? Well, the first thing you do is you, you find a map. So the same thing in science, um, no matter pretty much whatever study you're going to do later, you need to know where you are and what the bottom looks like. This is one of the last places left where all the details haven't been figured out. And for the very first time, you get to just simply describe something. That is the most exciting thing to think about, is that we're providing a stepping stone for somebody else to stand on our shoulders and see further. 